Here's a paper folding problem that asks for the length of x to minimize the length of the crease y. Now I find that the solution is simplified greatly if you use trigonometry. So let's try trigonometry. Uh, first, uh, let's say this angle is theta. And because these are two lengths x and z, this should be corresponding to these z and x. And because this is folded, that means this angle is also theta. Now, because this is a right triangle, it doesn't look like a right triangle, but it should be a right triangle. Uh, in this right triangle, uh, cosine of theta is equal to, uh, Soka to us as adjacent over hypotenuse. And adjacent to theta is x. So x is there, hypotenuse is y. So that's what you have. And then sine of theta is equal to uh, opposite of the over the hypotenuse, which is z over y. Now, um, using this length 8, we see that this length must be 8 minus x. And this angle here, that angle is going to be uh, 180 degrees minus 2 theta, and this is the important idea. Since uh, the relationship between x and 8 minus x is uh, cosine of this angle, we can say that the cosine of 180 degrees minus 2 theta is adjacent, which is 8 minus x, over x, which is the hypotenuse. And then this is where we use the formula for the uh, cosine. So first of all, we know that cosine of 180 degrees minus A is negative cosine of A. So unfortunately, this solution assumes that you know a great deal of trigonometry. So uh, just look up some formulas and you'll see this should be this as one of the formulas. And therefore, cosine of 180 degrees minus 2 theta is equal to negative cosine 2 theta, which, by the way, is 2 cosine squared of theta minus 1. And because that means negative of 2 times cosine squared theta plus 1. And then we use this fact, which is negative 2 x over y squared plus 1. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that uh, uh, 1 minus 2 times x squared over y squared is equal to um, 8 minus x over x. And then uh, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to first rewrite this as uh, 8 over x minus 1 so that uh, we can move the one to the other side and that gives you uh, negative 2x squared over y squared equals to 8 over x minus 2 and then uh, we are going to uh, rewrite this again as 8 minus 2x over x and let's uh, flip both sides upside down, okay? So what we get is, uh, we're going to get, well, let's also multiply negative over to the us, this other side, so this this becomes uh, 2x minus 8 here, and then x here, okay? All right. Um, and uh, I guess we can also divide both sides by 2, so we get x squared over y squared equals to x minus 4 over x, and now we flip both sides upside down. So we have y squared over x squared equals to x over x minus 4. Okay. Um, now, furthermore, we have, uh, we can multiply by x squared, then we get y squared equal to x cubed over x minus 4. And uh, although you can take the square root both sides and, and insist that uh, you're minimizing y, uh, there's an important shortcut which says uh, minimizing 
y squared minimizes y as well. This saves us a great deal of calculation because we don't have to differentiate the square root. Okay, so we're just going to take this function and we'll try to minimize this. So we're going to differentiate x cubed or x over x minus 4 using the quotient rule, which gives you 3x squared times x minus 4 minus x cubed times 1 over x minus 4 squared. And, and we know that this will be minimized when this derivative is equal to 0. And if you have a fraction, it's going to be 0. A fraction will be 0 when you have uh, you have the numerator as 0. So we want this to be 0. Let's see what the numerator is. This is 3x cubed minus 12x squared minus x cubed equal to 0, which is 2x cubed minus 12x squared equal to 0. And you can factor the 2x squared out, and you get x minus 6 equal to 0. And since x equal to 0 would be the uh, same as not doing any crease at all, uh, that's going to, well, you can't have x as 0 because then it, it doesn't fold to the other side. So that will be an invalid answer. So you have to think about why this, this would be invalid. Uh, so the only way that this would be 0 is when x minus 6 is equal to 0, which is x equal to 6. So the answer is you have to have x equal to 6 inches. Well, if this, if these lengths were inches, let's just say these are inches, okay? If these are inches, then x equal to 6 inches would be the answer.